All right, you guys, I am uh, sitting in my shop's parking lot, uh, waiting on the uh, new truck to show up. The guy I got it from offered to deliver it for free, which is nice, two hours away. Um, so uh, yeah, we are waiting for it to show up any minute now. Can't wait to show you guys what it is. So uh, hold tight and we'll find out. Let's get her unloaded. you guys it is now two days since uh this truck was brought here spent yesterday cleaning her up steam cleaning it she was uh pretty moldy it's been sitting for a long time and uh you know here she is so this is that surprise i was telling you guys about and one of the reasons i got my cdl was to get a heavy wrecker and uh here she is it's not the best truck's got some rust um you know we picked it up real cheap fortunately you know it's got got some issues got some rust jacking as you see um but it's a project you know i got it with you know plans of rebuilding this truck and making it you know for what we uh what we are going to need it for so as you see it's a super super short wheelbase uh it's 252 inches and that is perfect for around this area um we get a whole lot of dump trucks and things like that stuck on these side on these si small side streets what bro what are you talking about man um you know you guys see the videos of where we're usually pulling vehicles out of or doing tows and there's just not a lot of room um so this truck should be perfect for it so the first plan is to uh you know pull the whole wrecker bed off and actually see what we're playing with and uh take it from there you know the front front frame seems pretty good i don't know if you can see see it too well from in here but it seems like you know from from what i can see underneath the truck it's it's pretty much like in between the dual rears back um has pretty severe rust jacking you know it's one of those things it's an older truck it's 1988 international 9370 that's a home's bed and it's got the zack lift you know rear uh, under reach it's got a big cam 400 cummins and a 13 speed and it is our next project so hoping to uh you know still got that down it's only been only been a couple days since i released the last video so a flatbed still inside the shop actually just got the radiator for it yesterday so that's getting finished up and then i'm um, gonna work on getting this inside the shop and getting that wrecker body pulled off and seeing what we're playing with you know pretty much just gonna go through and replace as much as i can you know all the airlines these trucks notorious for air leaks and she's got plenty but uh should be perfect for what we need let I me mean, just look at the size of this here zach lift this is one of their first models. Um, it is full hydraulic, you know, full hydraulic down, up, in, out, well, out, in. And um, came with all the attachments, you know, got a fifth wheel attachment over there for trailers, a whole bunch of forks, everything. So, <clears throat> you know, got a real cheap. And that's what I was looking for, a truck that I can fix up and get everything going. Um, 
because uh, unfortunately I am not one of those guys that can go get a loan out on a hundred thousand dollar truck and uh, you know find the work for it every day pay five grand a month in payments for uh, you know one two three four five hundred thousand uh, dollar wrecker you know with with the side streets here you know this truck will be great you know I, I don't care if it gets scratched by branches or you know whatnot it's a work truck you know it's not going to be the prettiest but she will work that's all that matters so here she is i'm excited for it i'll uh start her up let you guys listen to it real healthy she's a little smoky <clears throat> probably got same fuel in it for the last five years she's been sitting but she fires right up and uh she's definitely turned up that's for sure Oh yeah, I love that sound, man. Well, there will definitely be some more videos on this truck. Like I said, I plan on getting it inside, um, you know, almost immediately, as soon as I can, at least before it starts snowing and, uh, you know, spend the, spend the winter rebuilding it and uh, see what happens. So if you want to watch that, I'll probably record the entire process, pulling the, pulling the bed off, you know, fixing the frame or whatever we decide to do. And um, yeah, so if you're like me, you don't have the funds to go out and buy a brand new truck, so this is what you got to do. That's not good. So uh, this is what you got to do. You got to find a truck cheap, you know, and put 10, 20K into it over time. And you have yourself a $100,000 truck after you spend some man hours. And man hours is something that I have a lot more than money to, you know, that's disposable. And that is, uh, that's a big thing in small business. Like I said before, don't have money to go get a five hundred thousand dollar truck so you got to work with what you got until you get to that point and this truck hopefully will be my in to uh heavy wrecking and heavy trucking and we'll see where she takes us all right guys peace out